Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So after Novak Djokovic was denied entry into Australia because his visa requirements were not met by the standard of the Australian border force, he was rejected and he's now currently in detention, hotel detention in Melbourne, awaiting a hearing at a federal court in Melbourne on Monday. Now there's been a lot of backlash to Novak Djokovic and his stance on vaccines. Now, a lot of people in Australia were saying this is basically unfair because we're the ones that have been taking the vaccines and boosters and why is there a different rule for tennis players or athletes to come into the country unvaccinated when we've been doing the right thing. A competitor, Rafael Nadal, came out and said some things about Novak Djokovic and his stance on vaccines. After to this whole debacle about him not being able to enter the country. So let's take a look at what Nadal had to say. Rafael Nadal says, it's the only way to stop this pandemic. Okay, Nadal backs rules that stop Djokovic. Former world number one Rafael Nadal has backed Australia's vaccine mandate, saying Novak Djokovic had to deal with the consequences of his choice not to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Following a dramatic 24 hours in Melbourne in which Djokovic arrived at Melbourne airport only to have his visa canceled, Nadal said, if you don't want to get the vaccine, you're gonna have some troubles. He also said, I think if he wanted, he would be playing here in Australia at the Australian Open without a problem. He made his own decision decisions and everybody's free to take their own decisions, but then there are some consequences. You didn't want to take a vaccine, so you've got to deal with the consequences of not being able to play tennis. He then goes on to say, of course, I don't like the situation that's happening. In some way, I feel sorry for him, but at the same time, he knew the conditions since a lot of months ago, so he makes his own decision. Okay, with that one, in November, apparently in my other video, Scott Morrison, the Prime Minister, said that the Health Minister showed a letter from November where Tennis Australia said that no one can come in if you're not vaccinated. So Djokovic should have known that he couldn't come in because he wasn't vaccinated or he hadn't revealed his vaccination status. But as I showed in my last video, I'll show you here again, that's him at Melbourne airport talking to the Australian Border Force and Chris O'Keefe from Channel 9 said, this is Djokovic at Melbourne airport last night. I've spoken to the man who took this photo he says Novak showed a bundle of papers to Border Force with Tennis Australia logos on it. It feels to me Djokovic legitimately felt like he had an exemption thanks to Tennis Australia. So if Tennis Australia is saying in November, which the Prime Minister quoted, that if you're unvaccinated, you can't come in, and everyone knows that he's hesitant or spoken out about vaccine mandates, and he hasn't revealed his vaccination status, then why would Tennis Australia go and give him all these papers and forms that he can give to the Australian Border Force that he thought that he would be okay to get through? Why would they give that to him if they knew that what they said in November, if you're not vaxxed, you can't come in, applies to him because he hasn't revealed his vaccination status? Why would they send him those papers? It's a bit of a mess right now, but he has a legal bid adjourned till Monday, so he'll be in a federal court on Monday down in Victoria to sort this out. Going back to Rafael Nadal, he said he wants to speak about the Australian people. It's normal that people here in Australia get very frustrated with the case because they have been going through a lot of very hard lockdowns. Now, down in Victoria, yes, they're the most locked down city, I think, in the world, Melbourne was. A lot of people were not able to come back home. That's also true. He backed the role of science and medicine. Now, this is what Rafael Nadal had to say about the efficacy of vaccines then. Okay, he said, after a lot of people have been dying for two years, my feeling is with the vaccine, it's the only way to stop this pandemic. Okay, now, in relation to that, I've got to say, we have been told on and on and on and on and on. Get vaxxed, get vaxxed, get vaxxed, get your booster, get vaxxed. Now, according to New South Wales Health from today, today, 95% have their first dose, 93.6% have their second dose, and that's 16 plus. So when you have a 93.6% double vax rate and you have record cases in nearly 35,000 cases, doesn't that mean that people who are double vaccinated are still spreading the virus? So clearly what he said here, it's the only way to stop this pandemic is getting vaccinated. Clearly people in a state who are 93%, over 93% vaccinated, double vaccinated, have a record cases. Clearly vaccinations are not stopping this pandemic. I'm not a doctor, that's just basing it off the numbers that we're seeing and common sense. So clearly Nadal is uh, wrong on that account. The only for me clear thing is if you are vaccinated, you can play in the Australian Open and everywhere. And the world, in my opinion, have been suffering enough to not follow the rules. As if someone who's not vaccinated is going to spread the virus more. When Victoria, the state they're in, just had another nearly 22,000 cases. And that was the first time they've crossed 20,000 cases. And they're 93% fully vaxxed. So the state of Victoria where the tennis is being held has a 93% fully vaccination rate, age 12 plus. But they've just had a record of over 20,000 cases for the first time. So higher vaccination rates mean higher COVID positive rates, but vaccinations are gonna save us. Okay, thank you, Rafael Nadal, for your insight there. So what did I say? I just, I just said basically the same thing. He's as dumb as everyone else then. Huge vax rates 
and record cases. Go figure. In New South Wales and Victoria, they've got higher vaccination rates in the 90 plus percent range, nearly 94% double vaccination rates, but record cases. So clearly the vaccines are not stopping the spread and Rafael Nadal is completely wrong when he says it's the only way to stop this pandemic. So what do you think of Nadal's statements here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video out there and I'll see you in the next one.